Hi, this is Mark Roth, and this is Mathematics for Social Justice. Today's lesson, we're going to turn uh, Pi So Son Goose into a counting problem. And the counting problem is going to be a little more challenging than are usually given to students. So this would be like for gifted students or advanced students. Uh, they might like this extra challenge. So just to review Pi So Son Goose, especially if you haven't seen the previous video, is you start with eight. Basically, it's, it's guesses. It's like Wordle, except it's like Wordle for math. It's, so it's going to be basically, you guess a three-digit number, and zero can be in the first place. And all the numbers are from this set. And the person who's running the game has a secret number. And, and all the digits are different. So the secret number is three of these digits in order. Zero can be in the first place. Now, suppose I'm thinking of 486. That's my secret number. And I guess 147. It looks like I have a four in here and a four in here, but the four is not in the right place. So if you get a number or two numbers or three numbers that are all correct numbers, but nothing's in exactly the right place, that's a so-so. Once again, so-so means you've got one or two or three of the numbers, but nothing's in exactly the right place. Suppose the secret number is 486 and I guess 258. I've got an eight but it's not in the right place, so that's also a so-so. And suppose now I, I guess 369. Well, now I have a six, but it's also not in the right place. So once again, that's a so-so. Now, if I had gotten a number in the right place, it would have been pi. Let me just write down here the name of the game again. It's pi, so-so, and goose. Now, if I had gotten three wrong numbers, it would have been a goose. If I had gotten one or two numbers in the right place, it would have been a pi. But so far, all I've gotten are so-sos. So that means I always have something correct, but nothing's in the right place. Now, the interesting thing is I didn't repeat any numbers in my guesses. So that means only one of these is good, only one of these is good, and only one of these is good. So far, I don't know which one's good in each case. But now I know something. I know zero's not in it. Because one of the three numbers is in here, one of the three numbers is in here, and one of the three numbers is in here, but I haven't used zero yet. I know zero is what I call a goose number. It's not in this. And when I get a goose number, I like to use it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this four and seven and switch them and write seven, four, and use zero as a goose number. So in this case, now I have a four, and there's a four here, but it's not in the right place. So this is this is a so-so. So now let me try switching these two. And I'll use zero again as a goose number. So zero is not in it. I know that. And this time, five is not in this, two is not in this, and zero is not in this. So it's a, this is a goose. And getting a goose isn't always a bad thing. This actually is helpful. Now, if I want, I can cross those out. Let me go back and talk about this so-so. This so-so basically means I've tried four and seven here and like this. So that means either four or seven is good, not both of them. So that means so far I know that we've tried four and seven in both spots at the end. So either four or seven goes at the beginning. So we know the first number is four or seven. Now when I tried five and two, I got a goose. So that means eight can't be last, but it's in it. And it also can't be first because we know four or seven is first. So that means eight has to be in the middle. And this is either four or seven. And now I got more goose numbers. So let me just go ahead and write four 
and I'll use two goose numbers, so two and zero. So four, two, zero, and that means I got it four in the right place, so I get a pi. So now I know it's four, eight, something, and I know the, the last number, it's gotta be in this list, it's gotta be three, six, or nine. The problem is, I'm not sure which one, except I know it's not nine, <laughs> because if, if nine had been the last number, it would have caused a pi. So I'm fine. I've got two more guesses, and it's either, it's either four, eight, six, or, or four, eight, three. So let me guess four, eight, three. Well, I didn't get it, but I got pi. So now I, I have it for sure. Four, eight, six is the only remaining, and this is a win. So I was able to win in eight rounds, and eight rounds is all you get. So this is a review of Pi, So, So, and Goose. If you've already seen the other video on Pi, So, So, and Goose. So now we're going to use Pi, So, So, and Goose to do an advanced counting problem. So if you remember, Pi, So, So, and Goose has a secret number. And the secret number has a first, second, and third digit in order. And zero could be in the first spot. So there's 720 different possible secret numbers because that comes from 10 times nine times eight. 10 digits that can go in the first spot, then remaining nine remaining for this spot, and then eight remaining for this spot. So again, this turns out to be uh, nine times eight, 72 times 10 is 720. Now, I'd like to do a count. When there is a secret number, let's say the secret number is one, two, three. How many of your 720 possible guesses after a secret number has been picked will give you a pie, how many will give you a so-so, and how many will give you a goose. So that's a, a good problem. To start it, we're gonna do a preliminary problem. Let's figure out, when you make a guess, how many of those 720 guesses will give you no correct digits? I'm not talking about in the right place, I just mean totally wrong. So for example, that's the same as ca counting the number of of possible guesses that would give you a goose. So that means it would, wouldn't be 10 times nine times eight because there's three good numbers. You have to go seven times six times five, which is going to be um, 42 times five, which is 21 times 10 and 210. So right away we have 210 for, I'll just write G for a goose. Now we want to do the same thing for um, one correct number. So let me just write this like this. We have zero correct digits. And now we want to look at one correct digit. So now we're going to calculate how many ways you can get one correct digit out of your three digits when you make a guess. There's three possible numbers that could be correct. So first you write that down as three. First you, you have to decide on which one of these three will be correct. Then one, once you decide, it can be put in three different places because it doesn't have to be put in the, in the correct place. It can be put anywhere. And then you have seven remaining digits that aren't in here and you have to choose two of them. So that's seven choose two. And then once you choose seven choose two, then uh, they go in the last spot, but they can be oriented two different ways. So this is going to be nine times two, 18. And seven choose two. Let's do the calculation right here. First, you choose one of seven. That can happen seven ways. Then you, then you choose a, a second one. There's only six remaining. But if you do this and you end up with two numbers, you could have uh, picked one of them first and the other one second or vice versa. And you don't want to count that pick twice, so you have to divide by two. So that's 42 divided by two, which is 21. So it's 18 times 21, and that's going to be, uh, we'll just do it the old-fashioned way. It's going to be 18 and 36. That's going to be uh, 378. 
So we have some data. There's 378 ways to make a guess and have one of those digits be correct. And there's the same as the goose. There's 210 ways to make a guess and have zero of the numbers be correct. Now let's work on how, how many ways you can get two correct. So once again, the problem is if you have a secret number, one, two, three, how many different guesses can you make where two of those digits will be correct? So you have three digits and if you want to do two correct out of three, that's three choose two. And that happens to be equal to three choose one. Because um, when you have three things, choosing one leaves two behind. So every time you choose one, that's the same as not choosing two, and they have to be equal. So, but anyway, that's a start. We have three, we're choosing two out of these three, and that can happen three ways. So this is equal to three. And then once we choose those, those two that are correct, those two correct digits out of these three digits, then they can be oriented six different ways. So then you have seven numbers that aren't correct, and they all go into the last spot. So that should be three times 42, and that should be 126. So now we have to worry about three correct. So that means you're using these three digits, but they can be oriented six different ways. So now we have to add this up and make sure it adds up to 720. So we have eight and six is 14 plus six is 20. Put down the zero, carry the two, three, 10, 12. Put down the two, carry the one, three, six, seven, 720. So this data looks promising. It's probably correct. So now the next thing to do, we can move to uh, calculating how many are pi, how many are goose, and how many are so-so. Well, first of all, these zero correct, they're all goose. So we, that's, a, that's a final answer for goose. So basically it means when you make a guess, 210 times out of 720 of your possible guesses will give you a goose. And we'll reduce that later. Now to worry about when you have one correct. When you have one correct, some of them are pi and some of them are so-so. And so remember, you only have one correct number. So either the one's correct, the two's correct, or the three's correct. So basically, you have one third chance of getting a pi because that's either the one, the two, or the three. So that means one third of these should give you a pi. So when you take this and you break it up, uh, one third of this will be 126. Let me just write pi. Two thirds of this, which is the double of this, will be your so-so. That would be 252. Now to worry about what's going on when there's two correct, to do this calculation, to find out out of this 126, how many will be pi and how, how many will be so-so, let's do this. Let's assume the two correct numbers are one and two, and seven is the incorrect number. So we can write that like this. One, two, seven, one, seven, two, two, one, seven, two, seven, one, seven, one, two, and seven, two, one. So then, we would get a pi. Here we get a pi. Here we get a so-so. Here we get a so-so. Here we get a so-so. And here we get a pi. Half the time we get a pi, half the time we get a so-so. So here we have 63 pi. 63 so-so. Now when we have all three correct, we have the six different arrangements of one, two, three. We can have one, two, three, one, three, two, 
231, 321, 312, and 321. So this is a win. It's not a pi. If you get one, two, and three, you have three numbers all correct. That's a win. And here you have a pi. Here you have a pi, because three is in the right place. Here you have a so-so. Here you have a so-so. And here you have a pi, because two is in the right place. So altogether, you have three pies, two so-sos, and one win. Three pi, two so-so, and one win. So now all I have to do is add. So for pi, we have 126, 63, and 3. So that's going to be 12. Put down the 2, carry the 1. It's going to be 9, 192. So altogether, we have 192 pi. And we already know we have 210 goose. And we have one win. So to get so-so, instead of adding this up, we can just... Well, we can add it up, or we can do complementary counting. We can add all this up and subtract from 720. We can do that as a check, actually. Let's do both ways. So let's find the so-sos. There's 252 so-sos and 63 so-sos, and then two more so-sos. So if you add that up, you get uh, 7. Uh, 11, carry the 1, 317. So 317, so, so. Now, I guess all we have to do is add all this up and make sure it adds up to 720, and we're in good shape. So let's try that. So 317, 192, 210. And one. Hopefully that adds up to 720. So we're going to get uh, 10, carry the 1, 10, 11, 12, carry the 1, 4, 5, 7, 720. So I believe we finished a good counting problem. So our conclusion is when you play Pi So So and Goose and you make your first guess, out of the 720 possible first guesses, 317 will give you a So So. 192 will give you a pie, 210 of those guesses will give you a goose, and one guess will give you a win.